Hello, hello, Andres Giovanni. Hello, hello, Andres Giovanni. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Very good. How was your weekend? It was good. What did you do this weekend? I, I stayed at home. Really? And what did you yes, do at yes. home? I was uh, watching some soccer games. Nice. Who played? Uh, I I watched the game of Barcelona, and I watched the game of Tigres, Tigres Cruz Azul. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, how often do you play sports? Uh, not too much, teacher. Do you like to play sports? Uh, yes, but nowadays I, I don't practice any sports. Before I practice football, soccer. Oh, really? And what position did you yes. play? Midfielder. Midfielder. And why you don't play anymore? Maybe because I don't have time. Oh, okay, okay. But do you miss playing? Yes, because it's something good for my health. Correct. And it's something very, I can get fun with that, but Mm -hmm. Now I didn't, I don't practice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, maybe later on you can, you know, maybe on the weekend. Yes, it, it could be. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so everybody, your homework was to prepare a presentation about a training that you would like to take in your company. And you were going to express how this training is going to benefit you and help you improve in your workplace. <laughs> Erwin, I already know your training. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. To get to fire. That's right. That's yes. right. Oh, you don't know how to do your job. Oh. To get to fire. It's just in the in the national in the national company is so mm -hmm. useful. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because it's a it's a good problem because many, many mm -hmm staff personal staff mm -hmm. don't want to, to, to study don't want uh -huh. to learn uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's a problem yeah uh -huh. okay. only to get the fire only to get to only to get uh, to fire only mm -hmm. that uh-huh and let me, person, only that and let me yeah. ask you a question erwin yeah. why why do you think that this phenomena exists in our culture why okay this is a, a culture yeah Culture. Culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will explain. I will explain. For example, mm -hmm. if you will work at the international company, for example, Nestle, Unilever, yeah, uh, they, that, that, that kind of company never will get the employees older 35 years old. Yeah, mm. only young people, mm -hmm. 21, 22, 23, mm -hmm. 30, 31, 32, because they think mm -hmm. they will change mm -hmm. the mind, 
and the health mm -hmm. for to work well. Mm -hmm. And that company, they give a good uh, capacitation. Mm -hmm. per train, per train, training, training, training. Mm -hmm. perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you are, uh, uh, for example, if you are young people yeah, mm -hmm. and in your family, your, your, your father or your mother is uh, uh, with bad, uh, how to say, uh, don't, don't learn you how to be a good uh, employee. Mm -hmm. You will be a bad employee. This is a culture. Uh, okay, okay, a okay. But okay. there are many employees that they think that they will go to work. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. in El Salvador, we change the generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have an older generation. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, when you remember, your joke. Mm -hmm. I remember, mm -hmm. I am old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember that, say, uh, one Salvadorian people is working. Mm -hmm. It works in, mm -hmm. in the world. Okay. It's the last time. Okay. This is the last time. Mm -hmm. In that moment, it's, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It it has a lot to do with the influence at home, the values, the respect, the responsibility. Sociality. That's right. That's Sociality. right. It's a, it's a it's a cultural thing. It's a sociological thing. Sociality. Right. Yes. The the real education starts at home. This is this, this is correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, let me have what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and take a couple of minutes and I would like for you to practice your presentations in pairs. Everybody is going to work in pairs and you're basically going to practice together and then we're going to all come back to the main session and each one is going to express uh, his or her presentation in regards to a training that you would like to take in your company. You will express what is the name of the training, if it's a software training, if it's a training about strategy, if it's a training about uh, how to use a specific equipment, and you're going to express how this training is going to help you to improve your ability to do your job at work. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Okay, so this was your homework from last week. So today you are going to go ahead and present. But before we do that, I would like for you to practice with a classmate and ask me questions. Ask me questions about pronunciation. You can ask me questions about words, vocabulary words, meaning of the words, things like that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Do you understand the activity? Yes. Does anybody have a question about this activity? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, let me have, let me see, David is Samuel, David Samuel. We're gonna put you, David Samuel is going to be on four and then William is gonna be on three, okay. What is Missy, Blanca, Madeline, Fatima? Okay, ready? Let's do this. Andres Giovanni, Blanca Estefani. Oh, Blanca Estefani, I'm having bad connection. Okay. Andres Giovanni. Hello. 
Mm -hmm. Do you do you have a, a song of your presentation? Do you want to to train to to talk now about? Do you have something you want to share? Well, to be honest with you, I didn't know about the homework. I was so busy in last week, and I was uh, I was asking the day that the uh, that the homework was assigned. So I am doing it right now. So I am preparing my presentation. I maybe I can I will share I will share with you at the end. Maybe for I will be the last one in the team, of course, presenting here in the in the team, in okay. the joint meeting. Yes. Is you okay? You want to share your presentation? I, I don't have the the ability to share the, the screen teacher. Can you give us that ability to share to share the screen? Because it's blocked. We need to share to show something. Well, I will tell you something about my presentation. Uh, uh, now we can share is what disabled by the teacher, but I am a math teacher. I am asking for a training in neuroscience. Neuroscience is the study of the how nervous system develops its structure and what it does. For that reason, I am asking that a uh, training uh, learning always has been a challenge for all cultures, for all nations, for all people, because the young people doesn't understand that they need to be uh, uh, teaching. And uh, if we don't know how the, the brain works, we have problems trying to teach something. For that reason, it's important. And in the present times, there are uh, many developments in the brain, uh, in how the brain works. And this is important in the, in many fields, in almost in, in education. And I don't know now who is giving that uh, the training, but uh, I am looking for that in the in UCLA or something like that to have uh, about uh, one idea about that, but uh, because I don't have the ability to share the screen, I don't show you what I, I was doing at the moment, but I am not finished my work too. I don't know something, uh, anything, somebody else want to share about No, nobody. Okay, thank you, Davey. I don't know if the other guys want to share some ideas about their his, about her or his presentation. In my case, I am still doing it. Yes, yes, I, I try to, to finish too. Okay, I understand.
Is everybody ready? Teacher, I was asking for a, a to share the screen. We don't we don't have the ability to share the screen. Oh, my bad. I got it right there. Blanky says, sorry guys, my internet connection is failing me. I'm having a bad connection. Okay. Can you do it now? Check it out. Let me see. Okay, this is my uh, I seen uh, almost everybody is working in the in the in the presentation. I have something to do it. Okay. But I I I talk about that already. Wow. Asking for a training in neuroscience. Neuroscience is the study of how the nervous system develops its structure and what it does. Wow, so, nice. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, for, for that reason is important in education because you need to understand how the brain works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that is uh, important, how the brain learn and how the brain memorize is important. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that water uh, drinking water helps the brain. Of course, of course, and and, and what do you eat uh, can affect mm -hmm. or can help mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, if many people eat uh, hamburgers or pizza or whatever uh, was it uh, something like that. The brain becomes, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, fat or, or, or and the, uh, the, the thinking process is slow. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are what we eat and uh, we need to eat uh, uh, healthy food for the brain can uh, uh, function uh, in optimal conditions. We need to eat uh, healthy and drinking water is a very important part of, because uh, uh, you need to, to bring uh, blood to the brain. That's right. Yeah. And for that reason, you need that your, your uh, uh, cardiovascular system was uh, uh, clean or almost clean. And uh, uh, drinking water is one of the way that you uh, put away the, how do you say grasa? The, the oh, fat. Fat, okay, yes, fat. yes. And then the, when you put away the fat, uh, your blood can can flow, 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 yes. flow, can flow easy, easier, and then, yes, easier, right, easier, and then uh, give the ox oxygen, oxygen, o yes. oxygen, oxygen, oxygen that the brain is for the thinking process. Oh man, I like this that, I like that. Okay. Very important. Okay, go ahead, continue this, practicing. This, I'm this word, go picture, view. this uh -huh. word, I, 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 I asked about this word, even truer, truer uh -huh. is, is correct, it's a correct word. Of course, truer? of course, yes. it's the comparative. It's a comparative, yes. Yes. Okay, but when you use a, a a two or one or two syllables a comparative. A, a uh, it's more expensive. Ah, uh, yeah. When it's this, more when, luxurious. Uh, okay. Like like the one, like like, uh, like more effective. That is correct. More, more effective. effective. Less of learning. 
more effective, more incredible, more delicious, okay. more luxurious. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, go ahead, continue practicing. I'm gonna go view the other group. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Are you doing good? Do you need help? Uh, yes, teacher. In, yeah. in the first sentences in my email, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I request the, uh, the training. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if the, they will give on and join it. It's, I don't know if it's, it's okay. Oh, no, no, you could just say they will give it in June. They will give it in June. In June. Uh -huh. But remember that this activity is related. It's not an email. This is an activity about speaking. Ah. Uh -huh. You're going to say, for example, uh, hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, mm -hmm. My name is Doris. Uh, today, I'm going to speak about a training that I would like to take. Uh, in my company, I process information. Uh, mm -hmm. So there is a new software to help. I am inventing. Obviously, I am inventing. Mm -hmm. I am only giving you an example. Um, the name of this software is called Cisco. The objective of this software is to help accounting processes to be easier. Um, this training is going to take three days uh, continuously, four hours each day, uh, right? So basically you're going to speak about uh, a training that you are interested in receiving in your workplace and you're going to express how this particular training is going to help you to improve your daily tasks in your workplace. Okay. And the other question is uh, when uh, I, I received the, I, I called the day the conference, is in Spanish or or uh, in it, doesn't, it, it, it doesn't matter. In this case, it doesn't matter. It could be in Spanish, but your presentation has to be in English. Yes, but uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the real name the conference is in Spanish. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Of course. Okay. <clears throat> Guys? Yes. For me, I, I speak about the, the name. It's a team marketing in for employees. Yeah. Sounds good. Yes. Okay. Internal marketing. That sounds real good. Internal yeah. marketing, that sounds very good. Yeah. For me. I love marketing. <laughs> me too, teacher. <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, 
Easy money, easy money. Easy money, easy money. Easy money. <laughs> the most important. When, when, I, is, when I, is, I study uh, in administration at the university, uh -huh. but uh, I, I, for, for to pay my university, I work it. Yeah, uh, I okay. Work it. Where did you work? Uh, I was, uh, I, I worked at Salesman. Oh, okay, okay. But when I received the first class, the marketing, the name is one marketing in the, at the university. Wow, I love it. Because for me, I, I will sound so easy. <laughs> after that, after uh -huh. that, I, uh -huh. study, I study so much about the marketing. Wow, wow. Yeah. I, I, moment, yeah. I want to learn more about sales. Oh, okay. And the sales is the, to give the smile to the to the customer. You That's have to right. The smile, the smile, the smile. The smile. And continue the smile. That's right. And you get money. Yeah. That's, that's right. <laughs> it's, even, it's, so, it's so easy. Even, even when you're doing it in the call center, because if yeah. you're if you're talking to the client like this. Yeah. The client can see that. If you're talking to the client like this, the client can see that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's face to face on the phone, it's it's still the client can perceive it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and all person, all, uh, all person have to express. That's right. And and express that try to give the smile. That's right. That's right. That's that's the key. That's the key. Let me go check to see if everybody's finished, and if it's not, we'll continue. Okay. Okay, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? What should we finish? Huh? What? What should we already finish? You're ready finished. Okay, yeah. let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Freddy's, would you like to go first? Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, um, if you want, you can share your screen with the class. Actually, I don't have a reading presentation, so. Oh, that's okay. You can just speak about it, and I'll listen to you. Um, I'm going to listen to your pronunciation, your vocabulary. If I hear any observations, I will correct you. No. Hey, Fernando. Hello. No. <laughs> Action. Okay, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Actually, we're talking um, on the break breakout rooms that... Um, any improve that we have to we, we actually want to make in our workplace. Actually, I would like to have a training on, wait, just give me a second because my dog is barking right now. All right, all right. Remember you say if they want to make an improvement. Yeah, improvement. Improvement. Actually, actually where I work at, um, my boss actually don't want to make any improvement. So actually it's the, the improvement I want to make it by myself. So I would like to have some training on implemented on electricity. Why? Because I've actually my my job is not just um fixing some water pipes or making Clorox or to deal with customer service. I actually have to deal too with um electricity because there's a panel control that I have to deal with every day that um, I have to make sure that everything is working right. The water pump has the exact um, energy fluency in order to, to be working. So I would like to have the electricity training because um, I would like to give uh, the correct maintenance to the, to the panel control. 
Okay, okay. Repeat after me. Maintenance. 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 Okay. And let me ask you a question. Um, do you know the name of a provider that gives this training? In, I think in support. Uh, and how long is the training, more or less, just to have an idea? You look tired, Fernando. You need a coffee. Actually, I don't, I don't know how long is it, so I have to ask. Ed, do you know how much is the cost? I think it's free. Oh, oh. And how do you feel that this is going to help you improve your tasks on a daily basis? Uh, actually, it will, it will help me a lot because um, sometimes I, in my free time, I I do uh, some fixing at the house, uh, different clients' house. Mm -hmm. So I will, I will be not just in a specific area fixing um, some water pipes. I will actually get into electricity. So that will be some extra money for me. Oh, okay. So this is something that you would like to do like after hours like a like a supplement uh, income yeah okay like a side hustle yeah i like the way you think i like the way you think all right all right everybody applause for freddy's good job freddy's thank you and is this a true story or are you inventing this? No, it's true. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, Fredis, uh, I would like for you to give the open session uh, for the class. Um, let me have Edwin, Fernando, and Doris, since you are the only ones that have your camera on. Uh, I would like for you to ask him a question uh, related to his job. Uh, Edwin, you can go first. Ask him a question related to his job. Uh, Edwin, you have yeah, your yeah, mic. Okay, 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 there you go. Okay. Tell me, teacher, I, I can listen. What do you say? Uh, ask Freddy's a question about his job. About his job? His, Correct. His job. Oops, Correct. Sorry, teacher. Right. I try to I try to do the presentation at the moment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Fernando. But, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, but I had the presentation. Okay, you will go after Freddy's. Okay. Uh, Fernando, are you? Can you ask Freddy's a question? Okay. Uh, Freddy's, uh, can you tell me what are the the activities that you? you make every day or on your job? Actually, um, good question. Actually, there's, there's some different activities. First, I have to be, um, I have to be actually, um, be, um, how can I can tell you? Not just waiting for the, to, to see the, uh, anyone needs my help in order to fix a, a broken water pipe. It's just that um, I have to see if the Clorox is on the rank because I have to I have to make some Clorox in order to the the water uh, for we can use it as a as a in order to be able to be consumed by by uh, by us by the humans right so it has to be in in uh there's there's a there's a table rank that we have to be into it so there's the maximum is uh 1.1 1. 1. milligrams of clorox and the least is uh 0. 0.4 mm -hmm. so it has to be between the rank in order to to kill any bacteria on the water and in order to pass any exam that uh, that uh, 
and mean yeah it's mean sal is the is the place that that comes to visit us in order to be um, working right in the in the parameters wow okay and let me ask you a question from the bottled water that we receive in el salvador agua cristal alpina uh, what is your opinion in regards to this water uh, actually my opinion is that um the, those kind of waters they are filtered water right yeah they pass through some filters and in order to be uh purified but uh, sure. the thing the thing is that um that i had some training about it um the thing is that when you open the bottle and the water gets in co in contact with the air if you don't drink it or use it like in some amount of time and you get you actually you're getting bacteria on the water it's not the same as um the water that has clorox mm. because you could have the water uh without um without uh, being on the bottle sealed and it won't it won't be infected with bacteria or anything else mm. so the training that we have that it's uh better the water that that has chloros than um, the one that is filtered wow so you recommend that we put a drop of magia blanca no 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 not not that kind of chlorox uh -huh. okay so it's chlorox is um yeah i don't know how you call it in english but in spanish it's called hypochlorito de calcio uh, into 70 percent Hipoclorito de calcio, 70%. And where can you buy that? You could buy it around on Freon or any uh, any place that ha that they say uh, they sell uh, water water treatments. It's like a pill. Uh, there's some pills and and you could find find it like a like a powder, but um, it's better what like what powder because um it's easier to prepare it okay oh poclorito de calcio frown okay purify water purify i have to investigate this purify water if you can send me some information i would love that freddy's so that okay. i can look further into this topic thank you all right good job freddy's uh, Doris, do you have a question for Freddy's? Yes. Uh, what happens if you, if you use a filter? I don't like, I don't buy uh, water in, in crystal or other, but I, I have a filter. Yeah, you could use it. You could use it just that um um that the like I was telling you when you filter the water, mm -hmm. there's there's like a certain time that you have in order to use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically the the opoclorito de calcio basically it kills the bacteria. It kills the bacteria. Yeah. Oh, okay. Seventy you said seventy percent, right? Seventy percent, but um Actually, let's say um, if you're gonna use it on uh, on uh, wait a second, I'm busy right now. Okay, let's say if you're gonna use it on on a uh, let's say on a tank, uh, water tank, uh, the small ones that that we actually use in in our house. I think they're called rotoplast, right? A roto plus, okay. Yeah, let's say if you're gonna use it right there, you have to mm -hmm. use like uh around mm, to be how can how can I give you a measurement? Mm. Like two, like two um you could you could grab two spoons or or Clorox, 
and solve it on, on a cup. After you solve it right, you could pour on it and then you can mix it because you cannot apply that much amount because it's going to be too strong of products because mm -hmm. the, po the, po the country is kind of, it's, it's some products that is, that's actually too strong. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to know how to, to use it. Yeah. You can kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very interesting, very interesting. I like this. I like this. Some people get confused because um, if you if you go to France mm -hmm. to buy hipoclorito de calcio, you have to make sure it's a seventy percent because they could send they they could sell you hipoclorito de calcio for for pools. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for pools, it's not for water treatment. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so okay. You have, make, you have to make sure what they're selling to you. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Uh, thank you, Freddy's, for this very informative presentation. I think that this is probably something that everybody in this class can use because everybody drinks water and yeah. everybody wants to be healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right so and we know I that you, i could give you an easier way too in order you want to purify your water mm -hmm. you could go to the to the unidad de salud mm -hmm. and ask for them uh for there's there's some uh something called puriagua puriagua yeah they'll give it to you for free oh okay unidad de salud puriagua they will give you for free and they will tell you how much you have to apply to the to the bottle of water oh, okay or to the recipient that you're gonna be using okay it has the same function okay okay and it's free yeah that that's what i love about it yeah <laughs> keep my money in my pocket <laughs> yeah. yeah but i'm gonna definitely look into this this is a very interesting topic Thank you very much, uh, Fredis, for your presentation. Yeah. Guys, did you like his presentation? Yes, it was yeah. very Yes, of course. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, because everybody has children. You know, everybody yeah. has older senior citizens and their families. You know, so I imagine that water is a huge factor of the health condition of people. So water is like... Optimus Prime. Thank you, Freddy's. Uh, let's go ahead and let's listen to the next participant, which is going to be Erwin. Hello, teacher. I am here. Erwin, okay. go ahead, Erwin. Please share with the class your presentation. Uh, today, guys, we're going to have only two because I noticed that the time is moving. It's already 844, so time is going by too fast. So we're going to have only two presentations, Erwin and Freddy's today, and then tomorrow, two more, and then so forth and so forth until everybody participates. Because if we do the whole class, only participations, we're not going to be able to advance in the student book. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I will, I will speak about the in marketing or the employee marketing. Mm -hmm. What is employee marketing? The definition of employee marketing is how communication teams increase work phase in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Engagement by aligning everyone in the organization around the company goals. That most important, the company goals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Improving the work, the workplace culture. This is the most important too. Mm -hmm. And for the brand advocacy through a relevant message that the successful drive in the actions. Mm -hmm. After that, the employees will know the, the, the company about the good communication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Why mm -hmm. try to do Let me see. Okay. okay. Internal market. I speak about internal marketing that is similar that employees marketing. Okay. 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 Internal marketing this day, internal marketing is a crucial part for an effective marketing strategy. 
and is it something the company should prioritize because the first customer in the company is your employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. correct, in correct. The first. Okay, after that, this training must be done twice a year. Twice okay? a year. Twice a year. The manager, the manager must give continuity the, the training. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only that issue. So the manager, that's all, that's all. So, so the managers need to follow up on the development of the training. Yes. yes. How how can the managers do that? What what is the rubric or what is the measurement to see if okay. the manager if the employees uh-huh when the manager when you have a manager you have to express about the success that you have in the company yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about for example if you will buy something for your family you can do it because you work in that company and you have a good work and you get the money for uh -huh. example, uh -huh. and for example, after that, I will use that kind of mark, okay, that kind of branding, brand, mm -hmm. because I love my company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. If you work it, if you work in ad hoc, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you will use it. Choose ad hoc. Correct. If, yeah. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. And you will love your work. Yeah. Yeah, because you can give the money for your family to get the to buy the food, for example. Okay, okay, it makes yeah. sense. It makes sense. So yeah. you can use the internal employees and external marketing to promote the service and the product. Yes, because the customer, the, the first customer is your employees. Uh huh. Correct. Yeah. Okay. But if the manager can do it, they continue. <laughs> We are bad, okay. It's like it's like right now I am wearing yeah, the, the... yeah yeah yeah. This is for example for example. I am wearing example. the uh, facilitador. Yeah, uh, you can yeah. see right here facilitador shirt, right? It has the logo. Okay, okay, it makes yeah. sense. It makes sense. Um, does anybody have a question that they would like to ask Irving? Uh, referring to this topic, a question of curiosity that you might have that you want to ask him? Me, teacher? David, yes, of course. I, I think that the marketing is a very important part of the every company. But uh, uh, in the Irving experience, what area is most related to marketing because not not all the areas will be trained in, in that area in that uh, topic ah, I, I think uh -huh. i think there will be one kind of people maybe sellers maybe i don't know in, uh -huh. in, in how many came because all, all the people needs to know maybe uh -huh. but, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, some people needs to go deeper mm -hmm. than the other people Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, what was the recommendation of, for from Erwin about that? Ah, okay, Erwin, what do you okay, think? I I will explain it. Okay, uh -huh, explain. Uh -huh. go ahead. The, the first, you have the salesman. Okay, you have the salesman, and the salesman have to love the work, love the, the the brand, love the brand. But for example, one cashier in the bank, yeah, he will use it a credit card. For the bank. Correct. Yeah. But many persons use the other brand, the competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. for this one, the new marketing try to work mm -hmm. with the old employees mm -hmm. in the company. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So basically, what you're saying is uh, the most important to be trained it would be the salesman. And then from the salesman, it will trickle to the other employees. Yes, for example, mm -hmm. if you work at the uh, industry, uh, Topaz industry, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you will use it, the t-shirt or, 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 or teacher, yes, 
with the other company, oops, uh, you don't know where you work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Cardano, the name, the brand. Dear Cardano, the brand. Okay. That's a that, that's a problem because you're not you are not representing the brand. Because but you have to love it. only no because you will buy the with a low price no because the company have to try mm -hmm. that you will love the company. It's mm -hmm. a good problem. Okay. Ah, okay. It's, it's, it's very, very complicated. So first, convince the employees yes to indeed. believe and trust the product or the service so that they can promote it. Okay, that makes yes. sense. Yes. That makes sense. All right, thank you, David, for your question. Uh, everybody, applause for Erwin in this area. Um, obviously, uh, marketing is what gets everybody paid. We understand that you are the marketing of your company. You are the face of the company, so. Excellent, excellent, Erwin. Thank you. Okay, guys, I know that everybody wants to participate, but we have to move forward. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have two more participants, and we're going to try to move forward like that. I did not think that this would be so long, but I see that you guys are really, really uh, preparing. So I like that. I like that. That's the idea. Thank you. For the next activity, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward, and we're going to be analyzing this section right here, which is says seven tips to discover employee training needs without a structured instrument. This is coming from unit two, page 18. You're going to click on this link over here, and when you click on this link, you're going to open this website. The website is Balance Careers. Balance Careers. Balancear tu carrera. And you are going to read the article, How to Conduct a Simple Training Needs Assessment in Seven Steps. I would like for you to read the article and discuss your opinions about the article and then we will discuss it together. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. Okay, let me share the, the book I am opening now. Okay, thank you. Page 19, you yes. said. Okay. All right, here it is. And go to the page 19. Okay, this is seven yeah, tips okay. to discover employee training needs without a structured instrument. Okay, let's open the link. Okay. And yes. Here it is. Mm, balance career. How to conduct a simple training needs assessment in seven steps. Okay. I read paragraph by paragraph. Start it, please. You reading? Mm, yes, ma. Can you share it, please? I cannot see the paragraphs. I asked. Ah, sorry, I sorry, sorry. I am not sharing. I am not sharing the. Okay. Now, yes. Okay, how to conduct a simple training needs assessment in seven steps. 
You can assess the training needs of a group using the simple step. Do you want to quickly alert the training needs of a group of employees who have similar jobs? Yet, you don't want to take the time to develop and implement a survey? Ask the questions in a computer program or run an analysis of the demographic information you collect. No. no. Okay, continue, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, this training needs assessment or best in small to middle-sized organizations. It will give you a quick assessment of the training needs of an employee group in a larger organization, unless you work with subsets of employees, the challenge is more difficult. You wouldn't, for example, want 50 people in the room identifying their training needs. You wouldn't. I don't know why you wouldn't. Okay, go ahead. How to assess training needs? One, the facilitator gathers all employees who had the same jobs in a conference room with a whiteboard or flick charts and marker alternatively. If each employee has access, you could use a program like Google Docs or another online share access service. You will lose some of the media sees a small visual whiteboard or flick chart. However, as each employee to write down their 10 most important training needs, emphasize that the employee should write a specific needs. Communication or team building are such a broad training needs as an example that you will need to do a second training next. As best based on each of these topics, how to give feedback to the colleague, how to resolve a conflict, or how to apply and efficient, effectively demonstrate that you are listening to a coworker are examples more specific training needs. Excellent. Then ask each person to list their 10 training needs as they list the training is, the facilitator captures the started training needs on the whiteboard or flip chart. Don't write down duplicates, but do confirm by questioning what, no, that the training need that on the surface appears to be a duplicate. Really, it's an exact duplicate. Otherwise, participants can feel as if their needs were ignored or marginalized. Go ahead, number four. When all of the training needs have been listed, use a white body process to prioritize the training needs of the group. Of the group. In a weight tip booting process, you use a sticky docs or number written margin marker. Not as much fun to bug on a prioritize the list of training needs. As an alert dog, 25 points and a smaller dog, five points each. This three book, as many of those as you like, but make sure that every employee has the same number of points. Tell this assessment participant to place their dog on the card on the chart to vote on the priorities. Give the group a 10 or 15 minutes time limit so that you don't have people wondering the decision for a lighted period of time. Number five, list the training needs in order of importance with the number of points assigned as votes, determining priority as determined by the sticky dot body process. Make sure you have taken notes, best taken but by someone of their laptop while the process is underway, or the fleet chart page to maintain a record of the training needs assessment session. Or if available, Use more modern technology like a dry erase board of a web web whiteboard. Number six. Take time or schedule another session to brainstorm the needs. The needs are coming, are comes or run from the from the first there to find training session. Identify in the needs assessment process. This will help us use it in schedule training. To meet the employees' needs, you can schedule numbers determined later. But you will generally find that you need to redo the needs assessment process after the first few training sessions. Employee training change as they continue to learn and grow. Important note that the top one or two needs of each employee may not have become the priorities for the group. 
try to build a top priority training opportunity into the employee's personal performance development plan. You will also want to use the results for the employee's career development planning when they meet with their managers. This will ensure they have support to pursue the training that they need and want. Next. Additional tips about training needs assessment. A training needs assessment can be and often needs to be much more complicated than this. But this is a terrific process for a simple training needs assessment. Make sure that you keep the commitments generated by the training needs assessment process. Employees will expect to receive their key identified training sessions with the brainstormed objectives met. Ensure that the training needs assessment results are built into the employee's quarterly performance and develop, development plan. It is important that the employee's manager become as a, a co-owner of the employee's ongoing performance development hopes and needs. Tip, make sure that you are tracking the training and development opportunities that you provide for each of your employees. Same of you with you fight to follow through. This is how jaded and unmotivated employees are created. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's all. What was one of the war? Employees training opportunities. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And people award assess. Evaluate. Evaluate. Assess. Evaluate. Is the assessment. This training needs assessment works best in small to mid-sized organizations. It will give you a quick assessment of the training needs of an employee group. In a larger organization, unless you work with subsets of employees, the challenge is more difficult. You wouldn't, for example, want 50 people in the room identifying their training needs. Evaluation assessment, evaluation. Okay. Assessment, assessment helps to find common training problems. There are different problems. Not necessarily for the regulators, but the employees who have the same job. And the same job in a conference room with a waiver of features and markers. The facilitator gathers all employees who have the same job in a conference room with a whiteboard or flip charts and markers. Alternatively, if each employee has access, you could use a program like Google Docs or another online shared access service. You would lose some of the immediacies of the more visual whiteboard or flip chart, however.
Ask each employee to write down their 10 most important training needs. Emphasize that the employees should write specific needs. Communication or team building are such broad training needs. As an example, that you would need to do a second training needs assessment on each of these topics. How to give feedback to colleagues, how to resolve a conflict, or how to deeply and effectively demonstrate that you are listening to a co-worker or examples of more specific training needs. When all of the training needs have been listed, use a weighted voting process to prioritize the training needs of the group. In a weighted voting process, you use sticky dots or numbers written in a magic marker, not as much fun, to vote on and prioritize the list of training needs. Assign a large dot 25 points and smaller dots 5 points each. Distribute as many dots as you like but make sure that every employee has the same number of points. Tell needs assessment participants to place their dots on the chart to vote on their priorities. Give the group a 10 or 15 minute time limit so that you don't have people pondering their decision for a lengthy period of time.
take time, or schedule another session to brainstorm the needed outcomes or goals from the first three to five training sessions identified in the needs assessment process. This will help as you seek and schedule training to meet the employees. All right, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody finished or do you need more time? All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? We're finished reading. We're good right now. All right. Go ahead and start from the beginning, please. William Alexander. William Alexander. Hello. Hey, how you doing, William Alexander? I'm a little sick, teacher. Yes, yes, I, I heard, I heard. Are you feeling any better? Mm, kind of. What do you feel? Fever. Are you drinking medicine? Yeah, I took some pills. Okay, okay. All right, if you want, just relax. We're gonna go ahead and have uh, Fatima Lourdes, please read the, oh, sorry guys, it's already 9.13. Give me just a second before we read. I need to uh, take the attendance because it's already 9.13. We're going to lit, we're going to, Take the attendance. <clears throat> okay, when I call your name, please say present. Axel Gabriel. Axel Gabriel. is absent. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Present. Blanca Stephanie. Blanca Stephanie. Absent. David Samuel. Present teacher. Present. Dora Elizabeth. Present. Present. Erwin Lagos. Present teacher. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Good. Francisco. Present teacher. Good job. Freddy's. I'm your teacher. Awesome. Jarvin Isaac. Jarvin Isaac. Absent. Okay, Jarvin. Uh, let me have. Kenya Esmeralda. Present. Good. Madeline Yamilet. Present. Good. Manuel de Jesus. Oh, eh, guys, hagan oración por Manuel de Jesus. He is sick. Eh, as, tenganlo en su oración, okay? He wrote me today and he is sick. So please, 
uh, pray for him. Okay. Uh, Marlon Stanley. Yes, present, sir. Present. Thelma Cleotilde. Present, teacher. Present. William Alexander. Present. Jessica Yanari. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Imelda. Present. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Good attendance. Good attendance. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is read the article. Let me have the first volunteer. Let me have the first volunteer, please. All right, thank you, Kenya. Please read the first paragraph, Kenya. Right here. Okay, do you want to quickly learn the training needs of a group of employees who have similar jobs? Yet, you don't want to take the time to develop and implement a survey, ask the questions in a computer program, or run an analysis of the demographic information you collect. Excellent, excellent. Only one observation the pronunciation of the word run. run, run, right? We don't say run, we say run, 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 Thank run. Thank you. Excellent. Please select somebody to read the next paragraph. Put Madeline. Madeline, continue. A note, right? Correct. Madeline, read right here where it says note. Note. This training needs assessment works best in a small two. Um, my, mid, I don't know. Mid. Mid-sized. Mid. Mid-sized organizations. It will give you a quick assessment of the training needs of an employee group. In a larger organization, unless you work with subsets of employees, the challenge is more difficult you wouldn't, for example, want 50 people in the room identifying their training needs. Identifying or identifying? Do we say identifying or identifying? Identifying. Very good. Identifying is correct. Everybody repeat, please. Identifying. 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 Uh -huh. the, the spelling is with I, but the pronunciation is with A. Identifying. Identifying. Yes. All right. Let me go ahead. Go ahead. Select the next participant, please. Um, Thelma. Thelma, please read for me how to assess training needs number one. Okay. How to assess training needs. Number one, the facilitator. 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 Gathers all employees. How have, have, excuse me, we have the same job in a conference room with a 
whiteboard or flip charts and makers. Markers. Markers, okay. Alternatively, if each employee has access, you could use a program like Google Docs or another online shared access service. You will lose some of the immediacies of the more visual whiteboard of flip chart, however. Perfect, perfect. So basically here is basically telling you that you need to have other things, right? A conference room with a whiteboard or flip chart, markers, right? These are things that are necessary in a company in order for the employees to receive trainings. Thank you, Thelma. Select somebody. Teacher, yes. Teacher, how yes. do you say that, that word? In mediasis? Uh, of the more visual whiteboard? Oh, the, yes. Lose some of the immediacies. 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 All right. Immediacies. All right. immediacies. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Thelma, select somebody. Janari. Janari, please, please read for me number two. Okay. Ask each employee to write down their 10 most important training needs. Emphasize that the employees should write, look, write specific needs. Communication or team building are such broad training needs. As an example, that you will need to do a second training needs assessment on each of the, these, these topics. How to give feedback to college, uh, how to it's, resolve a conflict, or how to play and effective Effectively demonstrate that you are listening to a coworker are examples of more specific training needs. All right, repeat after me. Colleagues. 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 Effectively. 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 Deeply. 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 Is deeply nor deeply, teacher? No. Deeply. 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 deeply and effectively. Okay. Deeply and effectively. Perfect. Deep Perfect. Effectively. Okay. Please select the next participant. I prefer a number, teacher. All right. Give me a number. Seven. Seven is David. Samuel is number seven. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> David is no like, I, I don't see a seven. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what is seven, but seven is a good number. Okay. You, you, no you, are, you are the volunteer dedocraticamente. <laughs> All right. No problem. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering, David. <laughs> I, I read from number three only? Yes, please. Replicate. Otherwise, participants can feel as if their needs were ignored or mar marginalized. Very that good. That is correct. Marginalized. marginalized. Repeat, everybody, okay. repeat, please. Marginalized. 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 At the end, you say Zzzd. marginalized. <laughs> Marginalized. 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 With a D sound at the end. With a D sound at the end. Correct. All right. Correct. Re remember that in the English language for the simple past, you have three different pronunciations. You have voiced, unvoiced, and id. Okay. For example, if I say to you the word, if I say to you the word want, 
want is simple present. Want. If I put it in simple past with the ed, what is going to be the pronunciation? One. The last one, wanted. Excellent, David. Wanted. So that means that the pronunciation is ID. Or if I say to you, the airplane land. Aterrizar, land. What is the simple past? Landed. Landed. Very good. So if the verb, the main verb, finishes in the letter T or the letter D, then in that case, the pronunciation is it. But if the verb finishes in a voiced sound, voiced sound, for example, burn, quemar, burn. If you put your fingers in your Adam's apple and you say, burn, 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 burn. burn. You, you notice burn. that the last burn. sound is burn. considered voiced. Burn. Burn. burn, right? It's a voiced sound. So if the verb finishes, in a voiced sound, like the verb burn, in that case, the pronunciation is nd, 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 right? For example, burned. No, burn it, no, burn it, no, burned. 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 The pronunciation is d. Burned. Burned. Okay, now, if the verb finishes in an unvoiced sound, in that case, the pronunciation is t. For example, walk. 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 Notice that the last sound is very different. If I put my fingers right here, walk. I say walk. 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 Burn. 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 Walk. It's walk. a big difference. Yes. It's a big difference. So the pronunciation for the simple past is walk. Walked. Burned, Walked. landed, Burned. wanted. Walked. Okay, thank you. Can you put that on the on the on the on the chat, teacher? Copy oh. that and put it in the chat. Yes, sir. Of course. Thank you, teacher. Right now. I will put it in the Zoom chat. In the Zoom chat is correct. Because I do not have WhatsApp open right now. Yes, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Oh, oh, other scene, teacher. Huh? How how do you name that that uh, scene in the in the throat? Ah, uh, Adam's apple. <laughs> Adam's, Adam's apple. apple. Oh, okay, man. So Adam, Adam's apple. Yeah, like or... like Adam and Eve. <laughs> we say Adam's Adam's apple, yes. Adam's apple, uh huh. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, David, select somebody, please. Let me see. I see Fernando. Fernando, read the next one, which is section number four. Okay. Uh, where all of, all of the training needs have been list, just uh, wait. Okay, okay, buddy. okay, okay. Right there, we see an example. What listed. is the verb? What is the verb? List. The verb is list. list. 
right? Los verbos han sido listados. List. So, in the simple past, is this voice or unvoiced? List. 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 It doesn't matter. In this case, oh. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. Why it doesn't matter? Because it finishes in the letter T. So what is the rule? If the verb finishes in the letter T or the letter D, what is the pronunciation? ID. ID. Listed. Uh -huh. So in this case, it is ID, right? So we say listed, uh, wanted, uh, needed. Landed, listed, right? So if the verb finishes in the letter T or the letter D, the pronunciation is automatic. It, listed, wanted, needed, landed. Continue, continue. Okay, we we'll start again. <laughs> yes, yes. When all of the training needs had been listed, just a weighted voting process to prioritize the training needs of the group. In a weighted voting process, you use a sticky. A sticky is the pronunciation. Sticky, correct. Sticky, sticky is dots, correct. Sticky dots are numbers written in magic marker. Not as much fun to vote on and prioritize the list of training needs. Assign a large dot 25 points and a smaller dots five points each. Distribute as many dots as you like, but make sure that every employee has the same number of points. Tell need assessment part participants to place their dots on the chart to vote on their priorities. Give the group a 10 or 15 minutes time limit so that you don't have people pondering. Pondering is the pronunciation. Pondering is correct. Pondering, pondering. okay. Pondering, Pond there. Pondering, pondering is like, like when you say, uh, uh, preguntándose su, su decisión. It's like pondering. a wondering. It's like wondering, right? I okay. wonder, ponder, I ponder. Okay. Right? Like when you're thinking about something. Okay. Had people pondering their decision for a length, lengthy, lengthy, pe lengthy period of time. Okay, that's good. Uh, only one observation, Fernando. Repeat after me. Chart. Chart. Uh, notice, Short. notice that the Short. pronunciation is ch, 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 right. It's quick. Short. Chart. Chart. Uh -huh. Chart. It's Short. a difference. It's a difference when we say sh, sh, okay. sh. Short. Right. We say sh. Short. Ch. 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 Okay. Excellent, Fernando. Go ahead. Select somebody, Fernando. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Freddy's. Freddy's. Okay, this is going to be the last one, guys, uh, because this is a long one and I need to move on because we need to work on the platform. So this is going to be the last one and then we're going to move to the platform. Go ahead. Freddy's. Okay. This is the train. Wait, move it. Oh. Take time. Take time. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, sorry. List, list, list the training needs. Yeah. Uh -huh. List the training needs in order to, in order of importance, with the number of points assigned, assign it as both the term, the term. Ah, ah, right there, right there. Pause, pause, pause. If you say assign, assign it, assign, 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 assign. assign. is that boys? Or unvoiced? It's a voice. It is voiced. Good yes. job, David. It is voiced. So, 
What is the pronunciation? With D at the end. Excellent, D. David. Assigned. Assigned. Signed. With a D at the end because it is a voice sound. Thank you, David. Continue. Assigned as votes determining priority. Determining or determining? Determining. Everybody repeat. Determining. 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 Priorities. Continue. Priorities or priority? Priority. Let's ah. have that. Uh, priority ah. as. Man, I got a That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Determine. Determine. With the least sound. It is a voiced sound. So we say determined. 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 As determined by the stick dot voting process. Stick or sticky? Oh, yeah, sticky. As the E and the Y at the end. Sticky. Yeah. yeah. Sticky dot body process. Make sure you have taking notes best taken by someone on their laptop while the process is underway. Or the flip chart page to maintain a record of the training needs assessment session. Or if available, Use more modern technology like a dry erase board or a web whiteboard. Excellent, excellent. Now, what I would like for you guys to do uh, mm -hmm. in this, uh, related to this article, I would like for you guys to go to the platform. You're gonna go to the platform where it says video conference number seven, paired conjunctions, neither nor. Here at the bottom, I want you to give me a short paragraph, a short paragraph describing how or where people train in your company? Do you have a conference room? Do you use flip charts? Who trains you? Do you outsource the training? What is the process for the training? How often do you receive a training? How long is usually a training? Any questions? Yes. So, <laughs> Um, the um, I I always have the problems with the platform. Um, oh, you I, still haven't? I thought they fixed it earlier. No, they uh, yeah, someone from English Comparativo contacted me, and, and I uh, gave, I gave her because it was a girl um a, a different uh, email address, but it's not working. Okay, I'm gonna write him right now, at this moment. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, this is really I, I don't like because I have I I, I cannot uh, do my homework. Yeah, mm -hmm. we already have seven classes. Let me ask mm -hmm. them right now. I'm gonna ask the support right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Let's go. And really chat with and chat with with uh, they several times. 
they say do this, do this, and it's always the same situation. Today I I gave them a different um, email address, and it is always the same situation. It's not uh, allowing me a register uh, in the website. In the mm, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. Did you go to Sykes today? No. Did I what? Did you go to Sykes? Sykes? Yeah, you work. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm working from home and I am on vacation right now. Really? So that means that you never go to the site or yes? You... Yeah, I never. Only if I have to take my computer to be a checked by the by help desk because I don't know last time I I brought my computer because I have a, a charge a problem with my computer and they they a, check my computer if it, if it was something about the battery or if it was the charge. Um, only for that kind of stuff. So you never, I, I, I was, uh, okay, I was confused. I, I thought that you always, I thought that you work in the on site or you are working from home, right? Yeah, oh, I'm from home. Good, <laughs> really good. So uh, about the question that the teacher uh, said before, um, in my case, we always take um, virtual trainings. Virtual trainings? Yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes, yeah, as, as, as well, me, uh, we always. Uh, I, I, I'm working on site, but sometimes we, we have conference in Zoom, Sykes, Zoom, yeah. I, <coughs> and we always uh, receive the conference, but our virtual conference, it's not, mm -hmm. yeah, well, as well me. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes the training is, well, the training are uh, courses that we find in the internet, but uh, another cases uh, our manager uh, request to to another company uh, and a specific training. For example, right now we are taking um, and testing and quality training for software and is with um, another organization, uh, but oh. I can't remember the name of the organization. Uh, so you receive uh, training from different uh, companies, right? Mm -hmm. IPT group, I think it is, I'm not sure. Yes, well, me, um, I always, you know, uh, we always receive uh, uh, training from, uh, always training from the uh, uh, customer, <laughs> the account, uh, the, the account always uh, give uh, some uh, trainers about the product or some, update about the account we always receive but those are always presentation and uh those are pdf presentations and you have to read and watch videos and then you will have a a, a small assessment about 
the previous presentation and you know you know how 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 that is right kind of yeah uh -huh. uh, the last week we had uh, a training from guardian about uh, security awareness mm -hmm. oh security up. awareness yes i i have that training pending uh, I, but, I think uh, that was the training for all the company. Ah, uh, yeah, for all the company. Yeah, so I have a, I have this uh, the security awareness. It was a refreshment. Yeah, you just remind me that I have that. <laughs> uh, now I remind you. Yeah, you yeah. The test, the, the course. Yeah, yeah there, my, there is a time limit. Yeah, there is a time limit because in our case, if we don't take the assessment, uh, take the assessment they will be, uh, they will uh, inactive your tool. So your uh, login, your, your, your login, uh, your, yeah, you would not have access to the pro, to the tool. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. They will deactivate. Now will deactivate. Deactivate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes, yeah, good. Do you live in Mexicanos, right? Yeah, I live there. It's far. It is close. Uh, me, uh, me, I live near from Mexicano. Uh, do you have you ever? Do you know El Castillo? Yeah, El Motel El Castillo. <laughs> I think it's close to here, right? Yeah, I'm missing, uh, I'm missing uh, me Mexicanos. Uh, yeah, I heard that in front of that, uh, they sell. Uh, there are a lot know, of. There are there are a lot of. Uh, a, a famous restaurant. I don't know. <laughs> restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, all restaurants and they and, and those restaurants sell a, a meat mm -hmm. as, uh, uh, but it's uh it, it, what is how do you say uh, boil carne asada it's, uh, barbecue and I don't know how to, yeah barbecue but they sell meat uh, pupusas or Panis with uh, chicken, yeah, bread with not panis con pollo. Yes. <laughs> chicken with well, bread with chicken. <laughs> no, but it's not. It's not. Uh, they sell uh, the type of, of food in those small restaurants. Yeah, uh, all the street and uh, all that street from what that I don't remember the name of the street, but there are a lot of restaurants ah it's a uh, calla mariona this is uh the name of the of, of the of the street is calla mariona yeah and have you ever heard about carnitas mamachus La mm. carne, uh, yeah no all, no uh, those are really very popular restaurants in this area and I, I am okay, but I live the uh, back or behind the, uh, the the motel El Castillo. That's near from Mexi Mexicanos. Uh, so, do you live in uh, in Mexicanos or, or uh, downtown, or do you live in a neighborhood? In, a in I I live. I live in uh, Ciudad Corinto. Ah, Corinto. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Ciudad Corinto is a private. Yeah, uh, it's, it's private. Neighbor place. Oh, it's good. Uh, it's really nice. But uh, Ciudad Corinto is in front of Mariona, right? It's it's uh, it's not in front. Uh, it's Marion. Uh, Mariona is like two point or two or three kilometers uh far from, from mm -hmm. back from yeah 
Ah, good. I didn't I didn't know that. Um when I'm sometimes when I go to my house in Meta in Metapan, and if I have problems to uh, go because there are a lot of traffic in El Constitución, I and, and always um I take the street to Mariona. This is an alternative because this street always connect with a uh, uh, Boulevard Constitución, and then you can take the the road to to Quesaltepeque, right? So, mm -hmm. so when I when I take this uh, street, I pass from in front of uh, La Mariona, and I pass in front of Ciudad Corinta. But it's nice, right? It's, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Here is really quiet, and yeah. mm -hmm. it's I don't know if it, it feel like it's another world. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a pri private mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, place, so you don't have to be afraid to to have issue with a GAMS member or someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has a twenty four seven security. Yeah, tw twenty four out twenty four. Twenty four seven. Uh huh. Twenty four seven security uh, guards. In how? But I think it's a kind of expensive. I know because I used to live in a private uh, place, but I used to live in uh, Las Arboledas. This is in Lourdes, Colón. And oh this, yeah, I saw I saw house, houses there. They're beautiful. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a private place. You you pay a monthly uh, premium for the security services. It's about. It's going to depend uh, what type of. Uh, a security company assisted or what it's going to depend. Okay. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? I said, is everybody finished or do you need more time? We're working on platform. All right. So you need more time. Okay. Yes, please. Go ahead. It's a close uh, account. Una cuenta cerrada. Uh -huh. Do you make a paragraph? <laughs> yes, I like made a publication. A small, I made a small paragraph. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Uh, more time? More time? I'm finished, but they, they need more time. Okay, okay. Okay. One student can share the screen. Okay. There are only four paragraphs.
All right, all right, guys, time is up. Uh, we're going to uh, Fatima Lourdes. It's your turn to stay 10 minutes. Everybody else, we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Rest. Good night. Rest. Bye bye. Bye. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Enjoy your evening. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Thank Enjoy you your too. evening. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, David. All right, Fatima, so we're going to stay just with you. Uh, good evening. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? Very good. Very good. It's Monday. I would like for you to tell me a little bit about some trainings that you have received at work. Uh, what kind of trainings you have received and how have these trainings helped you to be improved? your daily activities in the workplace? Okay. Um, 
I work in the technology area, uh, developing a web desktop application and some technology projects such as uh, centralized um, information in one single database, for example. Wow. Uh, so uh, when I start to work, like almost three years ago, uh, we were like a uh, disorganized <laughs> uh, area. Unorganized. Unorganized. Unorganized area uh, in the team. Okay. But uh, with the time, we start to be more organized. Uh, do, we say, work. do we say with the time or do we say in time? In time. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, we start, well, we started to implement uh, new things in the team. So uh, our supervisor one day uh, drop a list of different uh, like trainings. Uh, courses, online courses that we could take. Uh, so uh, we start with that list. They were, if I, I'm not mistaken, uh, 10 courses that we have to take, we had to take. And this. With which one from the 10, mm -hmm. which one did you enjoy the most and why? It was one course related to uh, speaking public. Mm, public it was speaking, right? mm -hmm, it was a soft skill mm -hmm. that I I'm trying <laughs> to get better in that one. Okay. Okay. So I remember some tips of what you could do to speak in public, like for example, when you're talking. You usually have a, like some words that you repeat a lot. Mm -hmm. For example, you're talking and, and you are like, ah, uh, uh, like thinking in what is next. So uh, we, uh, we, we call those kind of words language crutches. Language, language crutches, muletas. Crush. Muletas, crutches means muletillas. Oh. Eh, so, so, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, sorry, sorry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> eh, eh, those are considered crutches. Language crutches. Language crutches. Muletillas de hablar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the courses that, eh, to avoid this, you should only stay quiet to like reorganize your ideas and give like a dramatic effect <laughs> and continue talking. That was one of the tips that and I remember a lot. Also, um, whenever people are public speaking, uh, usually, People clamp their hands yeah. together. That's another one, the language, the body language. You're not supposed to clamp your hands or put your hands in the pocket or put your hands behind your back or clamp your hands or, or do this. Why? Yeah. Because the energy, the, 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 the nervous energy, right? You have to channel the nervous energy, move your hands, walk from one part of the room to the other part of the room. Uh, all of this uh, movement helps to flow the negative energy, the nervous energy. Exactly. And that's one. And another was 
about uh, Scrum. Uh, it's a agile method methodology that is very common in the software uh, developing. It's a, a, a framework uh, that you is used to deliver a product, a working product in a small period of time. It's, it's used to a project management also. Mm, all right, okay. Uh, let me ask you a question. Since you are in the technology world, do you know any platforms or any programs that I can use to make a passive income? Ooh. No, I, I don't know uh, a software that already exists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so many scams. Um, on the weekend, I lost $100, like that. I installed a, a robot, IQ robot, trading uh -huh. robot. And I deposited $100. I lost $100 in less than five minutes. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. That was a $100 mistake. <laughs> I won't do that again. <laughs> no. Yeah. You need to be more careful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm learning. You know, uh -huh. I'm learning. So I think it's a learning process. Obviously, education is not free. Somebody yeah, is going to pay for it sooner or later. So, you know, I, I take the risk that I can afford. So $100 is not going to put me in the streets. Uh -huh. it, it's not going to affect me a lot. It hurts, believe me. I prefer to use that $100 in Price Mart or in Super Selectos. It hurt, but eh, I'm learning, right? I, will, I know that later on down the line, I will find the correct program and the correct software, and those $100 will come back 10 times. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it is. All right. Uh, thank you, Fatima, for your participation. Um, good pronunciation. I see that you you are advanced. So congratulations. Keep up the good work. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.